This is From Ring to Veil, a wedding planning podcast, the PNW's complete wedding resource, with your host, Kim Mills and Shannon Palmer. Episode number 35, the do's and don'ts of wedding favors. Our favorite thing, wedding favors. <laughs> Our favors in general. <laughs> Oh, we have such a love-hate relationship with favors, don't we? <laughs> being the mother of children. Yes. Or being a mother. I should say a mother of children. I guess you could be a mother of dogs or mother That's of cats. True. but Or dragons. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so having children and dealing with birthday parties. Mm-hmm. The favor thing is out crap. Of, it's out of hand is what it is. <laughs> It's out of hand. So we have we opted a long time ago never to do favors. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We're we're on the anti birthday favors. Yes, because they're junk. Right, most of the time. Most of the time. Well, and yeah, yeah. Most of the time most they're of junk. The time. Zachary went. My my youngest son went to a birthday party and they gave them their favor was a free karate lesson. So I mean, it's something like that. Yeah, it's that's good. that's cool. Yeah, yeah, that's interesting. So I'm sure that you guys um, from previous episodes know that we here at From Ring to Veil are not very fond of wedding favors and favors in general, unless it's something unique or practical that you could use. Yes. Yes. And we feel that the guest, as a guest, a favor is not really necessary. It's not. There is a thank you part of it. You know what I mean? I don't go to a wedding expecting to take stuff home. A gift. Right. They're already giving you dinner. Yeah. They're giving you entertainment. Yeah. And they're giving you drinks, most likely. <laughs> and it's not that. It's 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 about being there to share in this huge event in, in their life. It's not about... I'm going to go to this wedding so that I can bring something cool home. You know, it just, it, that's not what it's about. And I understand that it's a thank you. Mm-hmm. Thank you for joining us. We, you know, we're glad you were part of it, of but our usually celebration. My, I, you, you go to like a dinner party and mm-hmm. the guest brings something to right. this dinner, par- dinner party. So why would you would expect to get something from the host? Mm-hmm. Of Thanks a dinner for coming party. to my dinner party. Right. So why would you expect something at a wedding? And also, as adults, when you go to a birthday, do you <laughs> expect a goodie bag on the way out? Yes, I want bubbles and a, <laughs> and a clapper thing. I go to a birthday party for an you adult. You know what I mean? It just, it seems very out of hand mm-hmm. anymore. Yeah. And with Pinterest, which we love, mm-hmm. has tons of ideas. Because when we were researching, that's what Kim and I went to, yeah. was Pinterest to look for ideas for practical wedding right. favors right <laughs> there were some that were out of hand anyway but you know of course if you guys you couples out there you really want to give your guest guest something go right ahead and do it but please make sure it's something unique something <laughs> that's practical something, something that's part of you right that shows that the, you as a couple something that i'm not gonna go home and right. throw away so our first do is like we said put a little bit of yourself into the favor Mm -hmm. for example let's say one of you are an artist or you are a woodworker or you know do you do something creative like Mm -hmm. that and you make something uh, to give to each and every one of your guests like if you work with wood make coasters yeah just say have them say thanks i don't to me i don't want something with your name and date on it forever Right. You know, yes, right. you're a great friend and I enjoyed your wedding, but am I going to use this coaster with Katie and John and blah, blah, blah date on it for the rest of my life? No. No. So. Unless you put it in your car or something. Yeah. But, but exactly. <laughs> so just say thanks for coming. Or, or, you know, like a picture on it or <laughs> even just a really cool coaster that's really soft. And, <laughs> you know, I mean, I, you, there's this whatever it is that you do mm. that's unique Put that into it. Another example is if if you or the groom roasts your own coffee beans or something, make a sample for all your your guests. Or even if you just love coffee. Yeah. 
I just think that's really cool. I would love that. I love something that somebody makes yeah. like that. Right. If you met over coffee, you mm-hmm. know, coffee was a big part of your relationship. Put that into your favor. Because, right. I mean, we're in Seattle. Yeah. <laughs> we love coffee. <laughs> Around here, people love coffee. <laughs> A mug. If you're if you into ceramics, make a mug. Mm-hmm. Or even you can have mugs printed, mm-hmm. you know, with some kind of, some neat saying, yeah. poem, you know, whatever. But, I mean, that kind of gets expensive. It can. So. It can. But if you're going to do it, mm-hmm. do, it do it right. right. <laughs> do it right. <Jeez>. Next. <laughs> the next do. Make sure there's a purpose or a meaning behind it. Um, so... I saw these really cool engraved uh, bottle openers. Mm -hmm. Who doesn't need a bottle opener? I know. I can never find mine. I have to have two or three. I thought, (laughs) what a genius idea. I'm not going to go home and throw that away. Uh -uh. I'm going to use that. I can't find my Statue of Liberty one. I have to go find another one. And yours is, has a magnet on it. It sticks on my refrigerator. There you go. I mean, you know, something like that. It's fun. And then you, and you look, every time you get that, and like, that was such a fun wedding. I'm so mm-hmm. glad I got this, you know. So do something personable. Mm-hmm. Next do is make it simple and something that doesn't take too much time to prepare. We saw this cool thing the other day and I went, oh, Kim, look at this. A favor we could get behind. Yeah. <laughs> and it was mini, those mini plastic wine bottles. And they put their own label on it that mm-hmm. said Mark and Sherry, you know, whatever their day was. Mm-hmm. You know, just something like that. So that was simple and elegant. And you stick them on there. You can drink them at the wedding if you want. Exactly. <laughs> you know, drink them after the wedding once you get home. Right. Not in the car. Right. <laughs> but yeah, that was really cute. I've seen the mini liquor bottles with mm-hmm. a Coke, like a like a Jack Daniels and a Coke thing. Mm-hmm. Just something cute that somebody can use. Right. Not something that's going to sit there and spoil. Right. Or be left behind. All right. We'll get to those in a minute. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, n- do, the next do, make it unique. So, like... <laughs> Take home donuts for the more for the hey, b- breakfast, especially in the if you're out of town guests, mm-hmm. and you put like I know Krispy Kreme now does those little two pack things. Mm-hmm. Of course, we don't have very many Krispy Kremes around here, but there were top pot around here. But they'll make a little two pack thing, and hey, there's two donuts for in the morning to drink with my coffee when I wake up in my hotel room. There's right. nothing else there. I'm starving to death, and I need a hangover cure. That's right. You know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You also have tons of options when it comes to bars at your wedding. Right. And and by bars, I mean like a candy bar, a A popcorn popcorn bar. bar. I know there's other ones out there, but those are the ones that I could think of at the time. So, I mean, you put take-home containers on there so Mm -hmm. they can take some home to munch on later or in the morning or on the drive home. Right. Right. And... at an evening, a late night snack. Right. And M&M's makes those cute little personalized M&M's now and mm-hmm. your colors. Oh, hey, yeah. That's cool. Put them on your candy bar. So if you are at a, a venue, a unique venue, mm-hmm. and let's say they make honey, giving away honey from that venue is something that's unique. Right. A little bitty bottle of honey or... In Austin, there is the Texas Olive Oil Company or whatever mm-hmm. in um, Fredericksburg? No. Dripping Springs. Dripping it's Springs. It's in Dripping Springs. I would love to have a bottle of flavored olive oil. Mm-hmm. And they have little mini ones that you can give away. So so if you're at a unique venue, use that mm-hmm. as your favor. And around here, the wine, yeah. you know. Plus, like, we have a lot of lavender farms, too. So if you have... A, if the venue is a lavender farm, lavender sachets, lavender plants. Mm-hmm. Hey. A lot of them make lavender honey, too. Yeah. I don't so. know why I'm stuck on the honey, but. <laughs> honey. So give things that grow. You can have single potted succulents. Succulents mm-hmm. are very popular in weddings. But make sure it's part of your wedding. Use succulents in your bouquets and centerpieces and things like that. Right. Just don't have a succulent there which has nothing to do with your wedding right that's just weird same goes with herbs if you're having like greenery in your weddings like the rosemary and the basil and things like that Mm -hmm. give a potted herb Mm -hmm. that's i love potted yeah i mean who doesn't who doesn't like that 
You're having a wedding in the spring? Bulbs. Mm -hmm. Tulip bulbs. So they can plant later. And seeds. Packets of seeds. Mm -hmm. Those things are cool because those... they keep growing. Well, I mean, if you're good at growing them, but they'll they'll hopefully keep growing, you know, like your love, you know, it's a little mm-hmm. bit representational of what's going on yeah. where they got. If you're having a Texas wedding in the spring, blue bonnet seeds are awesome. There you go. <laughs> I saw saplings. They gave away saplings for trees and stuff. I mean, there's so many trees here. You don't really need to give that away. But, <laughs> but that would be fun. You know, just think walking out with a little yeah. sapling under your arm. That, that was kind of cute. <clears throat> All right, another do. Go with your theme. If you're having a beach theme wedding and it's outside in the middle of the day, sunscreen. <laughs> <laughs> hey, sunglasses. Flip see, flops. See, <laughs> that gets too kitschy for me. Well, I, I mean, if they're not, I understand that you want them to be cost effective. So yeah. you don't want to, you know, buy two. Maybe, you know, you can find a supplier that'll supply you with kind of good quality sunglasses but Mm -hmm. i mean you're on the beach you forgot your sunglasses hey a cheap pair pair. of sunglasses would be awesome yeah that at least to have on hand Mm -hmm. would definitely be good so i agree with that rustic like we said herbs Uh yeah i saw this really cute thing where they had at the beginning of the reception they had mason jars and they had either tags or they had it painted on a little piece of chalkboard a painted chalkboard on it you know, chalkboard paint mm-hmm. on it. So you can write your name on it. So this is your glass for the evening. You can go get your punch, your lemonade, your iced tea, or your beer, or whatever, into this mug. And it's yours to keep. Useful. That's so, I mean, useful. yes, we are anti-mason jar here. But, hey, <laughs> if it's a rustic wedding and that's mm-hmm. what you want. Yeah. And, and then, again, that saves on money on mm-hmm. having to rent glassware. That I I can get behind. Mm-hmm. That but I yeah, really I mean, you can. can. You don't have to use mason jars. You can use wine glasses right. or you know, exactly, pilsners. and you can get them printed or, too, mm-hmm. or even etch yourself if you if you have the time. Right. I um, I I ter- personally do not like the. Well, we'll talk about it later. <laughs> All right. Next, <laughs> so if you have a vintage theme, handkerchiefs. Or fans. I I mean, I fans. Yes, I like especially if you're having it outside in the summer. Mm-hmm. Fans are great. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Absolutely. And I, we, you know, of course, we were looking on Pinterest when we were researching this, and I had they had this thing where they you walked into the the ceremony and they had this little like a clothesline and these clothespins and they had all these handkerchiefs stuck on these cute. clothespins and said, "Please use for your tears of joy." Aww. So I thought that was kind of cute and kid. That's kind of kitschy, but it was kind of cute too, and it's kind of mm-hmm. vintage, you know, handkerchiefs and useful. Are vintage. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> Well, I don't know. You can have them embroidered with your name and date and what, you know, whatever or not. Mm -hmm. So modern uh, thing to go with your modern theme. If you're like a techie, you can get flash drives that are, you know, have your your wedding names and dates on them. I thought that was kind of cool. Well, if you're going to give away a flash drive, there better be something on there. (laughs) That's what I'm saying. (laughs) Like what? Like, well, I mean, it could be pictures of you guys, your your uh, engagement pictures oh, okay. or s- music or something like that. I don't want just somebody to hand me a flash drive. We got a ton of them around here because of where my husband works. <laughs> and I'm just like, I never use them. You know, so a flash drive, yes, has to have something uh, unique well, on it. Well, put some of your music on there then. You know what? You know, that would be <laughs> kind of fun to get a, a flash drive of some MP3s, you yeah. know? I, I just think that... Yeah. I'm not going to take it if it's going to have any. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> um, shot glasses with your mini liquor bottles. So, That's, yeah. yeah. You can always reuse those shot glasses even if you're not drinking liquor. You can yeah. use them for something else. Yeah. So. I like that. Um, the next do is make it fun. And I, and I put on here <laughs> a CD or mixed tape, but you could also use the flash drive yeah. for the, the mixed tape. Of, mm-hmm. of what you were going to be playing at the reception or right. that you had them play at the reception. You could just make a little mixtape of it, quote unquote. That's cool, though. Yeah. Wouldn't that be fun? Mm-hmm. Have a photo booth. A photo booth is a great take home. You know, mm-hmm. the photo strip from the photo booth is a great take home thing. You can remember it. Yes, it'll say your name and date of the wedding on there, but you have cute, fun photos. Mm-hmm. Get a photo with the bride. Get a photo with your friends, your date, whatever they're fun you could even make like one of those um those 
they look like hand fans, but they're your face, you know? So you could do one of the bride, one of the groom, and then you can have them take pictures of the bride with the bride and groom. There's so many fun options on that. I just love the photo booth. Um, Christmas ornaments. I am a Christmas ornament hoarder. (laughs) Not Not hoarder. But I like to pick them up. Like if I go somewhere on vacation, I like to pick up a, a Christmas ornament to hang on my tree. Yeah. Um, from that place. Well, me, I don't think I'd want Katie and John's wedding ornament on my Christmas tree. Well, I mean, I'm, time. <laughs> you know, maybe it goes with your theme. Yeah. Okay. But not necessarily say Katie and John's wedding, blah, blah, blah. I mean, <laughs> I put that in there cause I love Christmas ornaments. So. <laughs> <laughs> maybe if it's a, if you have your winter, winter wedding and it's like a winter wonderland wedding, maybe a snowflake Christmas ornament. Yeah. Or something, something, something yeah. You know, something like that. Absolutely. Or a seashell. If yeah. you're having something, you know, something that I, Kim's probably going to roll her eyes at me with this <laughs> one, but I like drink cozies because I drink, you know, pop or whatever out mm-hmm. of a can, not beer. I drink beer out of a bottle, but, <laughs> or a glass. You can have a koozie for a beer bottle yeah, too, yeah. but. But I like drink cozies because my, because sometimes I don't drink my Dr. Pepper, my diet Dr. Pepper in the can all at one time and it gets all hot and flat. So I like my drink cozies. Too. Yeah. I'm not too much into them. <laughs> so. I can't agree with that one. <laughs> oh, a hangover kit. We saw, I saw these cute things online yesterday that they were these hangover kits and they were these little mesh bags and they had aspirin and a bottle, a little, one of those little bottle of water in it mm-hmm. and some gum and some Tums. <laughs> and I thought that was ingenious because yeah. I mean, you're going to drink a some, lot. Some of your guests are probably going to need those. Yeah, That's like, for sure. You can say, thanks for coming. Here's a hangover cure. You know, hey, <laughs> thanks for enjoying yourself so much. Here's some aspirin. Well, even even still, all that stuff would be fine to keep in your purse or your yeah. car, you know, not necessarily for a hangover. But <laughs> yeah, I, it's a practical gift, you know. <laughs> I like that. Totally. I can get behind that. Yeah. All right. Now let's move on to the don'ts, things that we just can't, <sighs> we can't do. Don't go to the dollar store for your wedding favors. Same as the birthday thing. Yeah. We don't want dollar store junk. Right. They don't want... You don't want it, right? Right. I mean... Yeah. I mean... Dollar store. So, don't go to the dollar <laughs> store. Um, okay. I put jellies on here. I, unless, like jellies and jams in a jar? Yeah. Okay. See, I personally... They're usually tiny and it you get, I don't know. It just seems very impersonal to me unless you made it yourself. Yes. <laughs> unless you made it yourself. I don't really think yeah. that. Or you're getting married in an apple orchard and they have an awesome apple exactly. butter. Exactly. Something like that is unique, <laughs> you know, and, and you can be like, oh, do you remember that apple butter we got from that wedding? Let's that go so back good. over there and get you some know. more apple butter. I wonder if we can order that, you know. <laughs> But if you're just giving me smuckers in a can or something, you know, that's just, to me, that's impersonal. Yeah, and that's something you went to the store and got. So yeah. here, you put your sticker on it. Yeah. Just, I'd rather not have anything. Yeah. Candles. Yeah. No. No? Don't do it. <laughs> they, you get smelly ones. Some by people don't like the scent. You get... Lead wax, lead lead wicks, and some people can't 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 you know they're allergic to mm-hmm. it or you know whatever. Don't do candles. I think those are that's too antiquated. I mean yeah. that's like eighties. Yeah. Um. Our next one is mints or Jordan almonds. Yes, Jordan almonds are traditional a wedding favor. Mm-hmm. I mean you can do that if you want. If you have a candy bar, yeah. Fine. Put Jordan almonds yeah. on there and put mints on there. But don't do the kitschy little thing. We're meant to be. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, we're cynical. You're rumoring about. Sorry. No. It, it, we hope we don't uh, offend any of you it's by just, any of this. You it's know, just... it's that thing right now is overused. Mm-hmm. You you look at it and go, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. But you know, and then the whole sugar and you know no. who's who's who. You know, <laughs> anyway, it's just not not a good thing. Don't spend too much time. Don't spend too much money on them. Right. But don't go to the dollar store. Exactly. (laughs) Don't do apple pie in a jar. Don't do s'mores in a jar. Mm -hmm. If you're having a winter wedding and there is like a hot chocolate bar, 
maybe do a hot chocolate in a jar. You know, if it's something in your wedding, right. then I guess. But if your wedding has nothing to do with camping, yeah. why would you want s'mores in a jar? Yeah, exactly. Yes, it looks cute. Oh, that's cute. Mm-hmm. But are you having fires? Are you sitting around a fire pit? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you are, okay. But things in a jar, lentil soup in a jar, you know, I mean... <laughs> It's just not, it's not yeah. something that as a, you know, putting my mind as a guest, mm -hmm. I don't want that. If you had a baker and they did cupcakes mm -hmm. that were the same flavor as maybe your cake and they were in boxes, yes, mm -hmm. something like that or cookies or, mm -hmm. but don't, oh, no, apple pie in a jar is not good. <laughs> And when we talked to Emily, she said they had, like, tons of jellies left and stuff. Yeah. So, like, so, I mean, you know, usually people don't pick them up because they don't want to take them home. Exactly. So, you're wasted. Right. So, they're wasted. So, the point here is don't waste your money or your time on, on just some... But you can... I've seen this. You put a tag on your dinner plate, on their dinner plate, say, thank you for joining us. Mm -hmm. This is, a, you know, your dinner is your gift or whatever, you know. Hey, that's fine by me. For thank you. That's thanking us for coming to your wedding, mm -hmm. you know. That's all you need as a yeah. guest, just a thank you. Right. So glad you were here. Yeah. So you know, make sure to get a picture mm -hmm. in the photo booth or, you know, whatever. Yeah. So just do something simple. Don't go all out and go crazy. Oh, I've got to do all this DIY stuff mm -hmm. for my favors. Don't do that. It's not worth the stress. Exactly. It really isn't. Unless it's something super unique and memorable mm -hmm. and, and useful. And you then... can order in bulk. <laughs> you know, I mean, it just, yeah. it, we just want to save you some stress and yeah, money. Yeah, and money. Don't break the bank on your favors. No one, they're going to not be really remembered in you know, two days. Yeah. You know, so. Just give some donuts. Yeah. That's all I Donuts know. are good. <laughs> So show us some love by subscribing from Ring to Veil on iTunes, Stitcher, or SoundCloud. And leave us a review, please. And until next time, no stress, no worries. Keep calm and listen on. Thank you for listening to our podcast. You can find us on Facebook, From Ring to Veil, on Twitter, at From Ring to Veil, and on our website, fromringtovell.com.